I had to take a deep breath before I could get started here because, uh, Wow, that was a tough one. Um, I just went through the Burger King drive through for the first time in a long time. I don't even remember the last time I went to Burger King. This lady, I pull up to the drive through and this lady says, welcome to Burger King where you rule. How may I serve you? Uh, and a little piece of me just died when I heard her say that. And I don't know if that part of me will ever come back to life. <clears throat> Welcome to Burger King, where you rule. How may I serve you? God, that is so bad. Ugh. Burger King, what, what are you doing to people? Come on. What, what? Why do these places like this feel the need to... You know... You know your employees don't want to work for you, right? You know, like, you do understand that part, Right? You understand that no one, you know. They have it bad enough, is what I'm trying to say. Why, why do you got to... This this is just cruel. This is this is cruel and unusual punishment right here. I have to say. And by the way, some of you are going to laugh at that, right? And I, <laughs> I got to laugh too. You know, cuz I am human, but I'm 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 dead serious. This is this is not cool. Like you just don't you don't you don't do that to people, man. That's That's like you, you know they already don't want to be there. Now you're just trying to take a little piece of their soul out of them, you know? Oh, you know, when people come to your window, make sure you tell them you rule. It's no wonder why places are having such a hard time finding workers nowadays. Look at the, look at the kind of crap. What kind of place expects you to say something like that? I went into uh, I went into uh, D'Angelo's a week or two ago. Somebody said Gorilla Luya. Ah. Gorilla Luya. I, I can't believe I, I'm even uh, I can't believe I'm even repeating that word it's just so bad it's so cringy uh, uh, Gorilla Luya D'Angelo's Gorilla Luya this is what you got your employees saying now Somebody needs to report these places to the Human Rights Commission and let them know that there is inhumane torture and punishment going on in these places. You got to understand, man, as a business owner, these people already don't want to be there. There's a million other things they'd rather be doing with their time. A million other ways to make money. They are there because this is a last resort for them. Don't don't take away their soul, too. Come on, man. That's just... You don't do that to people. You do that to a dog or something. You know? And then I get past the drive-thru. I go up to the window. And I, I, I pull my card out of my wallet. Waiting for the lady to come to the window. 
the lady comes to the window and I'm seeing a little a little paper crown there. You know these little paper, these little Burger King crowns that they have. There's a crown right there at the window, like ready to be, you know, handed off to somebody. Now I see the crown when I pull up, right? And in spite of this cringy, you know, you rule thing that I just heard at the window, nothing in me thought that that crown was sitting there for me. I'm thinking, you know, you know, places give out, they give out stickers to kids. You know, you go to different places. They go, oh, you know, the kid like a lollipop or something like that. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking the crown is there if there's a kid in the car. They go, oh, would you, you know, would you, little son, like a, a, a crown or whatever? No. No. No, that, that crown is for me. Yeah. That crown is for me. Yep. She opens the window. I'm like, I, I can't even say this without... This is just, just so bad. She opens the window. And I got my card ready to hand to her. And I don't know if she maybe thought I was reaching for the crown or something. But she, like, she saw me stick my hand out. And she grabbed the crown and, like, and, and she said, I don't know if I, I don't know if I could say this. <laughs> He grabbed the crown and in oh God, this is so bad. Would you like a crown because you rule? Oh I I swear I wanted to just drive through <laughs> I swear I wanted to just drive through the building and just like just escape into another dimension it was oh my god it was so bad I'm 37 years old you don't put no paper Burger King crown in my face and tell me that I rule would, would I like a, would you like a crown because you rule <laughs> what are they doing to people at Burger King man Burger King what are you doing to people this is not cool. Now, here's the thing, right? Because I work in retail, so I know the backstory to this. She's not happy. <laughs> she's not happy with this, right? But she's working for somebody who... <sighs> she's working for somebody who's just like, hey, this is what it is. This is what you got to do. You know, and they ain't taking no for an answer. It's like, you do this or you, you go home. This, this is what it is. So she got to do it. Right? And that's the part. And, and this is why, uh, in, in spite of all the laughing, this is why I say this is really a serious matter. And I'm not kidding when I say these, these people should be reported for this. Because... She is being forced to say that. That's that's you don't do that to people. Come on, man. Come on. But you think this? She don't even want to be there. Come on, man. She goes home smelling like French fries every every day. She gotta wake up and put on her uniform that smells like French fries and go to work and 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 do this work because she gotta make a living, right? Nothing against, you know, nothing against her or, or anybody. I, to, to put some icing on the cake, you got to, you got, come on, man. Would you like this crown because you rule? Come, come on, man. You don't, you just don't do that to people. You know, I feel the same way when I'm driving down these main roads, you know, and I look at, you know, and they got like Liberty Tax, right? And they got some some 
poor kid out there who's in a, a Statue of Liberty costume, and he's out there in the middle of the street dancing and, like, you know, hitting backflips and throwing his sign in, in the air and all this stuff. You don't do that to people, man. Come on. You know? You take a dog or something. Take a Take a Labrador and put him in a Statue of Liberty costume. At least everybody would be like, oh, yeah, you know. You don't do that to a human being. That, that's just cruel, man. You just you you just going beyond like you taking it too far. Gorilla Luya. Gorilla Luya. It's not cool, man. It's it's not cool. I'll never go back. To, I'll never go back to Burger King in my life. I don't even want to look at a Burger King sign right now. Oh, I gotta take a deep. breath. Every time I think about it, it's just like ah. Oh, gotta take a deep breath. It's so cringy. Would you like this crown because you rule? Oh. You know. Burger King. Stop it. D'Angelo's. Stop it. And all these other places out there that have all this foolish stuff that they try to make their employees do. Because you, you, you just, you know, you got your foot down on their neck. And as if that's not enough to show, you know, you just want to apply a little, just a little bit more pressure. It's not enough that you got your employees on the ground and your foot's on their neck. You, you want to take their soul, too, and just have them kiss your feet while they're down there. Come on, Gorilla Luya. What the hell is that? I, I'm telling you right now, call it pride or call it whatever you want to call it. I would starve before I worked in a place where I got to say grillaluya to somebody, to a grown, <laughs> a grown man comes walking in for a steak and cheese and I got to say grillaluya. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not doing that. Nope.